Okay, see this okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Watch this. Watch. What's happening? They're tying it into a basket. Do they see it up here? Look at that. Watch that. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A round of applause! A round of applause for the Maypole dancers! Oh, that was lovely. I believe that's a school in in Rose Valley. I'm not sure what school, what state that's in. Uh, today is May 1st. We made it to the month of May, and you are entering the virtual classroom. Welcome aboard. Today is May Day. We made it. May Day. Day, day. 33 of our virtual classroom. 5-1-2020. And May Day is a holiday uh, people celebrate all over the world. And, the and a lot Guard. of people all over the world have today off. And I think some students in the Hopkins School District have it off too. Kids like Ernie. So thank you for still continuing to be our cameraman, even though it's your day off. And I want to welcome everybody aboard. So glad to have you. We're on the edge of a weekend. It's Casual Friday. We made it to Weekend Island. Hope you're preparing for a lovely weekend with your family. We have a bunch of stuff to get through. We better get to it. And then we can launch into this weekend. What should we do first, Ernie? I, um, team content. All right, team content. Of course. We have to do team content, don't we? I like to celebrate the great learning I see going on in our community, our classroom community, and Asiya and her sister Aisha sent in a bristle block shopping mall that they built together. I think they're ready to get back to the shopping mall. They're so ready they built one out of bristle blocks. Great job, Asiya. Great, jo great job, Aisha. And Sienna, she had a 5X day. She turned in her opposites list and she also made a natural paintbrush and did a wonderful painting. She started off her bean bags. I believe she did a pinto bean and a black bean, but I'm not quite sure. I think those are the two beans. And then she's gonna have a bean race and see who wins. And she also participated in that Lego game that Miss Sarah uh, showed us. And also she had some nice restful times in the hammock. And I thought that was worthy of a team content. I hope you rested too yesterday. I almost wanted to take a nap yesterday. <coughs> bless you. <coughs> bless you. Bless you. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Eddie had a 1X day. Miss Brenna had this awesome activity this week. I, I saw that Felix J participated too. It was um, going around your house and trying to make a rainbow out of your toys. That sounds like a fun idea, doesn't it? Maybe we should do that on our, on our, um, our learning matrix. For section be B to idea. try it. Ah, uh, let me see. I Anch had a 4X day. He's been studying fruits, which is pretty amazing. Uh, he's launched into this whole fruit study curriculum. Mm -hmm. And he was painting with beets. He was making a watermelon out of beet juice. And this is actually foreshadowing an activity that I will be posting Sunday night. I have a very interesting activity, I Anch. I think you're going to want to do this one. And then he did some writing practice and he built some twin towers with his, with his uh, mega blocks. I, and I, I think that was a, uh, um, another sort of uh, activity off of what Miss Sarah had sent in. So thank you for doing all that wonderful work, Ayanch, as always. And Bodie, he had so much fun with the bark boat. He loved that. And he also loved playing the Lego game with his family. And I think he said, that he's going to be doing that more. He's not done with that game. You can always play a game again, right? Especially after you learn the rules. It's fun to play it over and over again. And Adam, he had such a wonderful time with his natural paintbrushes too. Do you want to see what? Thank you, Adam. Thank you for, for doing that activity. Do you want to see how my painting dried yesterday? It's dry. I can touch it now. It's not wet. I'm gonna make
make a Mother's Day card for next week. That's what I'm going to do. Well, are we ready for the Daily Three? We actually have a Daily Four for this weekend. And I think the first one I'm so excited about, it's called Strengths Chain. Cut or tear strips of paper. Help your child write on each strip something they are good at. Let them come up with their own ideas and you can share what strengths you see in them too. Glue or tape these strips together to make a paper chain. And we've, kids, we've done that in the classroom, so you know how to do it. Some of you love doing it with a stapler. So that's a fun activity. That's a, a, um, a real boost. It helps you feel strong about who you are and what you're doing. So I really love that activity. I love all the activities, but that one is really sweet, isn't it? Number two is sand art. Find a sandy space or just find some sand and inspire some outdoor art. More outdoor art for you. Use simple materials to create a work of art, and I have linked that uh, with a hyperlink on the Daily 3 sneak preview. So check that out. And then might as well catch the wind. Find a ring about four inches in diameter, or you can make one, and you can attach streamers and ribbons to the ring. Play with the wind. How does playing with the wind make you feel? That's a, some, that's a really good one. You have to wait till it gets windy. Right now, it's not so windy. In fact, it actually looks like it might rain today, but if you get out this weekend, I'm sure you can have fun with your streamers. And it, um, maybe if you have enough space you, and enough streamers, you can even make your own maypole, but that's, that's, that'd be a lot. That'd be a big deal. <laughs> and I have a daily three bonus this weekend. It's called the Bounce It Challenge. How many times can you bounce a ball in a row? Count out loud. Try bouncing faster. Try with a different ball. Can you beat your personal record? Does that sound fun? I love having active daily threes too, so I'm gonna try it with this ball. This is Ernie's Culver ice cream playground ball. Because I earned enough. If you know that Culver's program toy thing, I earned enough to get it. Yeah, but you know, Culver's, so we're not mm -hmm. advertising, so. <laughs> but it's nice that we have a Culver's ball. Uh -huh. Ready? I'm gonna try the Bounce It Challenge. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 140, I was reading the newspaper yesterday, the Sun Sailor newspaper came, and there was a long, long article about a retired teacher, his name is Larry Wade, and he has a nature school, and it's a nature school right here in our very own community. In fact, he does a lot of his nature studies at Big Willow Park, which is really just down the street from us. We love to visit Big Willow Park, don't we, Ernie? Wait, oh yeah, Miss Dishinger got the right. Yeah, we do. We love it. Mr. Wait, Mr. Nature was on the newspaper. That's Is that Mr. Nature? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the, I guess the kids know him as Mr. Nature. He has done something very special. He, uh, during this COVID, he's created a nature school that's accessible through his website. And it's oldnaturalist.com. And uh, we were previewing the site today. It was a little bit glitchy, but let's see if it works now because I want to show you a couple cool things on this. It's a kind of a simple looking site, so it's easy to navigate. And we went to the resources for teachers and students, and there's all kinds of activities. You can even take some quizzes. But I was curious about sounds of nature because that reminded me of our sound riddle this week. So let me see if it works now. Sounds of Nature, and we'll go to Sounds of Spring. Let's see if we can pull this up. 
This is Mr. Wade right here. He's, he's using a special microphone to collect the sounds of birds that are singing. Uh, what bird would you like to try to hear, Ernie? Mm. Should we do the cardinal? Sure. Let's see. Let's see if it works now. Does that sound familiar? The, I, I feel like it's in our neighborhood right now. You feel like it's right there. Here, let, let me do a sound riddle. Let me see if you can guess this one. Are you ready? Wait, the kids need No, the, yeah, they can't see. Let's see if it works. Can you guess? No. No? Chickadee? No, it was an American toad. Oh, yeah, I, I tricked you because you thought it was going to be a bird, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so anyway, you can have a lot of fun with that. I didn't check out all his activities yet. I'm glad his site is back up this morning because it was kind of down for a little while. So if you have any tr trouble accessing it, go back later and check it out. He even has nature workbooks you can order too. It's called the Nature Seeker Workbook. So... Uh, it's only about three or four dollars, so it's really affordable. Um, and I think being out in nature, especially in the spring and the summer, is a very important job for all of us. So we can absorb the beautiful gifts that Mother Earth has to give us. And we in turn can help Mother Earth and learn about how we can keep Mother Earth safe. So that's very exciting. Actually, Did you have something to yeah. add, Ernie? Actually, Mr. Nature has a... Um tiny aquarium downstairs in his house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it, I, I think he's a person who really appreciates earth science and he's trying to really help us understand the, all the gifts that we have to glean. So check it out. Oldnaturalist.com is our very special resource of the day. And let me see, for our book today, we're going to be reading a book that I love very much. In fact, I think this was read on storylineonline.net, uh, but we're going to read it today. This is called The Empty Pot. So I hope you actually love this book as it's much as I do. It's actually a very good book. And because we did that uh, wind, we did the might as well catch the wind activity, I, I, uh, I thought it would be really special to share a song of the day. And it's called Catch the Wind by Donovan. Although I think Joan Baez actually was the writer. But this is a song performed by Donovan. And I found um, a site, I'll link it on YouTube there, where they, uh, it's this photographer and he's kind of, he's taken pictures to, to match the words of the song. And what I especially like is it's closed caption, sort of like karaoke. So you can actually see the words. And so for some of our early readers, that might be a fun chance to do some early reading and singing at the same time. And you get to appreciate great photos. So that's a three for one deal right there. Mm -hmm. So I will post that as our song of the day. I do want to remind everybody that it's our weekend now, but the, the learning keeps happening. So please don't hesitate to turn in great team content throughout the weekend. Um, I, over the weekend, sometimes it's harder for me to post it up, but I will do my best and I'll try to put it up as soon as I get it. Um, but sometimes I put the computer down and, uh, that's really my big parent note of the day is that, you know, the, on these weekends, especially there's opportunities for, do we have one minute? No. No? Keep going. Okay. Uh, we have opportunities 